Well, hello everyone. My name is Dr. Jeff Galini and welcome to another episode of Ask the Scientist. This show is about busting myths, bringing you the truth. Hey, my friend Tyler um, writes in a great question that came in and he says, Dr. Jeff, I had a question for you. Um, well, from me and my guys, he says, we are all natural. All we take is crealcalin and a protein shake and a very intense workout plan. And we have been having issue with stretch marks on the inner head of our biceps. He then goes on to say, I know other bodybuilders um, who don't seem to have these issues. Um, are we maybe not stretching enough or maybe need to apply lotion? Well, this is kind of a two part question to me because the first part I picked up on something that I'm gonna comment, uh, Tyler. Uh, you said you and your guys are all natural you're taking crealcalin and a protein powder. So look here, if you aren't using one of EFX sports protein powders, you could be jeopardizing your natural status. The majority of the protein powders out there are adulterated, spiked. A lot of them contain banned substances, so you may be hindering your athletic performance um, status, especially if you compete or if you're in law enforcement, you want to use EFX Sports exclusively and especially their proteins because everything is produced in a informed choice, informed sport certified facility that's governed by uh, WADA rules, NFL, Major League Baseball, you name it. Um, and the products are also uh, drug free certified. So anyhow, that was just kind of a comment. Now to your question, stretch marks. Um, this is a fairly common thing. What happens is, basically, your muscle is growing faster than your skin can adapt. So, you guys are working out very hard, you're, sounds like you're on a great eating plan, you're growing, but your skin can adapt. So here's a couple little secrets that I found um, over the years. Number one, yes, you want to warm up, you want to stretch a little bit, you want to heat that skin up. So Maybe do uh, 10 minutes of some cardio just to get the blood flowing. Um, make sure that you are stretching. Uh, you'll find some good stretching exercises on the internet in order to stretch that bicep out a little bit. Um, then what I found to really help from a topical standpoint is vitamin E uh, oil. Now, you could probably find vitamin E oil in a liquid, but make sure it's pure E oil. Most of them have water and preservatives. So I would suggest just getting the vitamin E soft gels and literally um, biting or cutting those open and apply that all around the area um, where you are, are starting to get the stretch marks or if you wanna prevent stretch marks, you can apply that vitamin E. That keeps the skin very, very um, moist and that vitamin E helps to penetrate in to promote healing. Now, the other thing that I recommend is um, pure cocoa butter. Um, cocoa butter really helps with uh, stretch marks, but again, get the pure stuff. Don't get the lotions that have parabens and water and fragrance and all that junk in it. Look for pure cocoa butter and you can rub that on also. Other than that, there isn't a whole lot you can do other than slowing down your growing pattern, which most people don't want to do it. Um, but those are a couple secrets. Those are a couple key things that, that I learned over the years that helped me um, minimize my stretch marks. The good thing is, is that they actually have gone away for the most part. So as I shrunk, so to say, um, those stretch marks kind of adapted back, but I think it was really because I took care of my skin.